February is a month of love, romantic love, familial love, friendship love, or aka platonic love. And since love is in the air, today I'm giving you February romance book recommendations for 2021. And if you don't know me, I'm Octavia D. Mason giving you the best practical writing tips, resources to build a strong novel, and confidence to write your story. So without further ado, let's get to that video. Here's a little secret about me. I love romance books and I love Christian fiction romance books and my love for these books was renewed when I was in college and I was scrolling through BookBub and I found Submerged by Danny Petrie. But when I first found the book I was a little skeptical because I heard about all the things, all the stereotypical things that surround Christian fiction books. Okay, not so much stereotypical, somewhat true depending on what book you find. But I heard all the things that people say about Christian fiction books, how they are preachy, a little cringy, and just ah, blah. But I thought to myself, Octavia, you used to love Christian fiction books when you were a kid, so why not give this one a try? Why not read the little sample? And I did, and I was mesmerized by the first few pages that I read. There was mystery, there was danger, there was so many things that were very unexpected about this book that I found in just the sample. I mean what more could a girl used to science fiction ask for in a Christian fiction romance book? Submerged is set in a small Alaskan town, a town that is usually quiet. That is until a plane crashes, people die, and a murderer is revealed. But not only is there a mystery surrounding a murder, but Bailey and Cole who have a blotted past must work together to save the town and find out who is this man that's murdering everybody. Man or woman, you didn't hear that, man or woman. And as best-selling author D. Henderson said, Submerged is a romantic suspense that will keep you up all night. So if you're ready to stay up all night with a romantic suspense, Submerged by Danny Petrie is for you. And by the way, this is only book one of a series and all the other books are just as great. Though it is February and Valentine's Day is right around the corner, it is also Black History Month, which is why the next books that I'm going to recommend to you are by Black authors. So the second romance book to read in February is Friday Night Love by Tia McCullers. I found this book when I was doing an avid Black Christian fiction Amazon search. And needless to say, it took me a long time to find a Christian fiction book by a Black author. But anywho, Friday Night Love revolves around Zinja Maxwell, a woman in the midst of divorcing her cheating husband, Roman. And as she tries to move on and get a little bit of payback in the process, her friend invites her to Friday Night Love, a weekly couples event. And at these events, Roman tries to mend his marriage with Zinja, but she wants nothing to do with his Friday Night Love. What I love most about this book, Friday Night Love, is of course the love and the romance, but I love the way Tia McCullers writes the story. It is written with honesty and authenticity, and I find myself not just reading a story about a woman who is learning how to forgive and a husband who's learning how to, you know, be your better man, but it's as if I'm reading a story about family because that's exactly how Tia McCullough writes. She writes with an authenticity that brings you into the story, that has you wanting to read more, that has you caring about these people in this book as if they are real people, as if they really matter to you. And as a Black woman, I appreciate reading a book in a genre that I absolutely love, but seeing people who look like me. And that to me is one of the best things that I can find when reading a book is seeing characters who look like me. So if you want a book that is centered on love, forgiveness, redemption, and truth, Friday Night Love by Tia McCullers is the book for you. The third romance book to read this February is Romeo and Julio by Sharon M. Draper. This story is about Romeo and Julio, two young lovers who find out that their love is quite similar to the Shakespearean characters Romeo and Juliet. I almost said Julio. It's similar to Romeo. Wow! similar to Romeo and Juliet. Romeo is an African-American young lady and Julio is a Hispanic young man. And their ethnic differences put their lives in danger when a local gang disapproves of their multi-ethnic love. I read this book when I was in high school 
And then I read it again with my friends about three years ago. And each time I fell in love with the characters, with their personalities, with their stories, with how realistic they actually are. And their relationship, Romeo and Julio, is very much similar to the Shakespearean one. But there I say it's a little bit more realistic than the Shakespearean one because it dives into a racial issue such as can I, should I, will I love the person who looks different than me, and what will others think? This is an issue that most people, a lot of people, are facing nowadays. If you want a sweet yet somewhat perilous love story, Romeo and Julio by Sharon M. Draper is the book for you. Now this fourth romance book to read in February is a special one to me. It is a science fiction romance called The Group and it is written by me Octavia D. Mason. This story takes place in North Carolina and is about Amika Marquis. One day Amiko finds herself being followed by a charming yet somewhat creepy man who wants her to join his group of time traveling friends. And after several no's and one yes, she takes his offer. But after time traveling for the first time, Amiko's night of wonder comes to an end when a dangerous enemy of these newfound friends returns, prompting a race through time. A reviewer of this book said that the group is full of twists and turns that completely caught me off guard. But not only is the group full of twists and turns, but it's a book and a story that is about unexpected love, trust, forgiveness, and of course romance. So if those things are interesting to you, then the group by me, Octavia D. Mason, is the book for you. By the way, if you want to check out my next book that is being released this year, head on over to my website at octaviadmason.com. When I first created this list for February book recommendations, my goal was to create a list of books that I personally love and would love to share with you. So I hope that these books become as special to you as they are to me. And I really do hope that you enjoy these love stories as well. Hello to all you lovely people out there. I hope you enjoyed this video. February book recommendations for 2021. The links to all the books that I just listed are posted in the description box below so be sure to check them out and if you want to buy a paperback signed copy of my book The Group the link is also posted in the description box below. And if you love this video be sure to check out my ODM book club playlist on this channel to get more book recommendations just like this video. As always if you love this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you want more content like this check out all my other videos on practical writing tips for beginner writers and don't forget to hit that notification bell for weekly videos. And by the way head on over to my website at Octavia mason.com and join my newsletter for a free guide on how to write realistic book characters. Again, I'm Octavia D. Mason giving you the best practical writing tips, resources to build a strong novel, and confidence to write your story. See you in the next video. Peace!